Most blockchain developers will be familiar with Remix. This is the online IDE for Solidity or Ethereum smart contracts. What some people might not know is it's actually possible not just to use this as an online playground, but to connect it to a local file system and use this as your main kind of development environment rather than something like VS Code. Which one you prefer is up to you, but I'm going to show you how to do that so you can make that decision for yourself. My name is James Buccini. On this channel, I create content about blockchain development and decentralized finance. If you're interested in staying up to date, then subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is install Node.js, and that is just at nodejs.org. You can install this long time, long time frame support, I believe that is. And then once that's installed, we can open up a terminal. If we right click in a blank directory and open in terminal, you can also do this open in a Mac terminal, of course, as well. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then the first thing we do is uh, install Hardhat. So Hardhat's a development framework for Solidity. And I'm just using npm uh, i, which is install Hardhat for this. Probably should have used npm init to actually create a package.json file to start with, but this will be fine. If I move this over here, we should see we've got some node modules here. I'm going to use npx hardhat init to create a new repository. I'm just going to use default options here. And you can see it's set up a, a basic repository. It's got a contract in there, some unit tests, and a deploy script. So that's going to be our example script for a basic local directory on our local file system of Solidity smart contracts. So let's clear this now and we're going to do npm at remix hyphen project forward slash remix d, remix daemon. That's going to install the remix daemon. And once that's installed, we can use npx remix D minus H to get a list of commands. Uh, but all I want to do is just run it. So using the local, uh, the, the kind of the, the directory we're in. So I can just run npx remix D and that will just use the default options. And then we can go into remix. If you, you've never used this before, it's just at remix.ethereum.org and you get like this online IDE. If we go here, we're actually currently connected to our local kind of browser, local storage directory and I want to go to connect to local host. So we're going to connect here. We should get a connection message come up. There's a weird bug currently where if you have hardhat config file in your directory, there's some kind of issue. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, it's an open issue on their GitHub repository. So that should be fixed um, probably by the time you watch this video. But if not, just be aware that it's, uh, there's some issue there. Let's run that again now. Let's now go to connect to local host, connect. Try it again. And you can see we've got this local file system. If we take a look, go to contracts, got lock file, go to contracts here, we've got lock file. Let's open that up and you can see here that we've got this kind of, this development environment for Solidity, which we can now edit files and save them on our local file system. So if we change something, and we can save that, uh, Control S, we're going to compile it, compile a lot of so We can also kind of deploy it and interact with it from in within Remix, which is really quite a nice kind of environment to kind of play around with things. Let's uh, do something here. Let's deploy that file. We've got an instance of that file. We can check the unlock time, do different things and call transactions. Well, let's withdraw because that's a long time in the future. But we can also kind of open up, if we go back to the file system, we can have a look at the deployment script and we could either deploy this as well from within the local file system. So we could deploy it using hardhat. So we had a more complex deployment, which was deploying multiple contracts or maybe deploying across multiple blockchains, then we'd probably want to use a kind of automated script to do that. And we could use hardhat. So we could develop our smart contracts within the Remix IDE. We could maybe do the unit tests within the IDE. We could run the unit tests within Hardhat, or we could even kind of run Windows subsystem for Linux and use something like Foundry or Sliver to do that. And then once we're kind of happy with it, we can use the Hardhat deployment script, or we can deploy it from Remix. We can kind of mix and match to kind of use this as one of our development tools. And I think it's a really nice kind of environment to create or to work on Solidity personally. 
Um, I, I'm using it more and more rather than whereas before I was kind of like messing around and using this almost as like an online playground. And then once I was doing anything serious, I'd move over to using VS Code within a local development environment. Now I think there's a real case that maybe uh, kind of using Remix Demon from within a browser is just as good as using VS Code. That's something probably you're gonna have to decide for yourself. Some people will love it, some people will hate it, but it's an option and it's worth knowing how to do it. So simply use the NPM module for Remix Daemon. I hope you found this demonstration of using Remix on a local file system interesting. If you want to learn more about blockchain development and decentralized finance, then subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.